we are back at CJ's Tire. Let's get this thing inspected. We are all stickered up and paid up, ready to go. Car is inspected. No more worries about the cops trying to bother me with not having the right inspection stickers, so good for another year. All right, we're gonna head over to Westy's shop. Gonna meet up with him because we're actually gonna go check out a barn find vehicle today that he might be buying. So we're gonna go see what that looks like and it should be pretty interesting stuff. And we checked the mail. You can probably guess what's in here. shop he's got his trailer all ready to go let's go pick some barns so when you go look at a car and you bring a trailer along they know you mean business so what are we going to do we're going to buy ourselves a hot rod brother a rat rod oh yeah a classic hot rod i don't know what it is we'll see what we got there seems to be a good deal Kind of looks a little bit like a mouse house, but yeah. that's kind of I par think, for the I course. I think if it is a mouse house that we're going to have to evict its tenants before we get back to the shop because I don't plan to populate my area with critters. Yeah, probably if not. If I can help plan. it anyway. winners no that one's a definite loser it, uh, it is pretty much lawn art at this point it looked pretty you saw the pictures right yeah it, it didn't looked, look that bad no it looked good in pictures the harsh reality of it is that it's a piece of shit yeah it's just completely rusted out in the bottom yeah dude that i mean that car is so rusted out that the i mean the the Parts that are bolted on are falling off. Right. You know, the fenders and the doors. I mean, imagine if you really start digging into that. How bad oh, yeah. It is. I mean, when something looks that bad, when you just walk up to it, you know, then, then when you get it home and you start finding the stuff that you didn't want to find, it's like, you can't believe it. So they can't all be winners. This one, unfortunately, was a little bit too far gone for, I think, anybody's use, honestly. You might get some trim or some glass out of it, but it's just been sitting in the grass too long and the frame's totally rusted out. And basically, you could probably grab those fenders and pull them right off. But, oh well, it was worth a nice drive out to see it and worth a chance on something that might be cool, but unfortunately, not a winner today. All right, everybody, this brings us to Sunday, and we're gonna open up our Dio Dynamics box and give the Camaro some new style.
Okay, we got our Diodynamics box here. Let's see what we got. Bet you all probably know what we have here already, but there they are. The tinted marker lights with the LEDs so we can get rid of the old incandescence that this car came with from factory and kind of give it more of that modern look. All right, these are the factory lights that this car comes with. Obviously, we tinted these on a previous episode. But as you can see, they're pretty dim, especially during the daytime, and you just got that little bit of incandescent bulb in the middle. Not really all that spectacular, so today we're gonna be putting in the LEDs from Diode Dynamics and giving this car a whole new look. So the packaging in these is actually really nice. They keep these so they don't get scratched up or banged up in shipping, and they even mark them with a red for the rear and then an orange for the front with a little dot on the side. So what we're going to have to do now is just get these old ones out and we can start installing our new ones. And this car is definitely going to need a wash. There's one thing I got to say. You can see all this grass and stuff like that all over here. That is from people who cut their lawn and blow it right on the road. If you're one of those people, it's not really a nice thing to have to drive your nice clean car through a pile of grass. So if you could be a little bit more courteous and blow the grass into your yard and not onto the road, that would be much appreciated. So if you stick your finger in this little window inside the fender well, you're able to get the bottom clip to pop out. But now you still have the top clip and you can't reach up inside here any further to get at it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of remove these screws and get inside the inner fender well real quick, just so I can pop this out without risking breaking. So if you're gonna do it this way, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who's able to get these out by just popping this bottom clip, but I wanna be careful, I don't wanna wreck anything. There's a T15 screw right here. And if you don't have a novice stretch, I believe these are T15 as well. Mine, of course, are the snap screws, so I'd use a Phillips screwdriver. So just gonna pop those out real quick, just for the time it takes. It's really not worth breaking anything. And we'll get in there and get that clip released. kind of pull this the inner fenders on these are kind of like a carpet so you're able to just kind of manipulate this out of the way I feel my top clip here now pops right out so quick and easy way so you don't end up having to break this top tab off just take the time pull this a little bit out and you're good to go so with the diode dynamics one you're gonna to have to take your factory bulb socket just turn it counterclockwise pops right out you can see your original bulb just pop the little bulb out of there and with these lights here, there's actually a little socket that's inside the light, and I kind of had to use a screwdriver and a needle nose and gently kind of work it out of there because it was kind of pushed down inside. But other than that, once you get it out, you're good to go. Don't pull on the wires too hard. It's just kind of pushed inside and you got to kind of fish it out a little bit. But what you're gonna do is plug in this socket that's wired inside your new light as if it was the original bulb. Now you wanna make sure that your polarity is correct because it's, being that it's an LED, it only work in one direction. So what you're gonna do is you plug it in, kind of fish your wires in there, set this so it's not gonna scratch anything. And then we're gonna turn it on and make sure it works. If it doesn't work, all you do is take that plug, turn it 180 degrees and plug it in the correct polarity and you're good to go. Okay, we had a 50-50 chance of getting this correct and we got it, the light is working. So we're good to go to put it in place. And there it is. Even in the daylight, this looks really nice. It's just a real sleek, kind of more modern look for this car. So we're gonna put our bolts back in the inner fender and then we're gonna do the rear. Okay, seeing how my tool here, which is also very rusty because of our Pennsylvania humidity, you kind of just need to jack up on it a little bit in order to get straight onto the bolt. So just to make my life a little bit easier, I mean, I'm sure if you have a shorter tool or whatever, you can get it in there, but this is what I'm working with, I'm trying to make my life as easy as possible. Just gonna pull this bolt out here and hopefully we can get in and get that clip released. Okay. If you just take the one top bolt out, you can pull the liner forward just enough and the clip is right there. 
Okay, we got it out. For this one, we're just going to twist it, pull it out, got our old one out of the way, remove our bulb, and we're ready for our new light. So just going to take this opportunity to clean in here because I see a bunch of gunge and dirt that's kind of already built up from everything kind of slinging off the tire and driving through the rain. So we'll get that cleaned out of there so it doesn't end up rubbing and eventually rubbing through the paint. And there it is. So we're going to plug this into our original socket and test it, make sure our polarity is correct as we did on the front. And there it is, our brand new LED. Snap that back into place, put our bolt back in our inner fender, and this side's done. Okay, now streamline this install a little bit. I was able to just take the one screw that was above the little opening here and I was able to pull the inner liner away. On the other side I pulled about four screws that was a little bit overkill. I didn't really need to do that so you're living and learning with me. So to do this just pull the top one you're able to move the liner over get to this top clip and then through the opening obviously you can get to the bottom one. The trick is not to pull this thing too far out because these clips do dig in quite a bit when they're stressed and uh, you kind of just want to keep it as straight as possible when you're releasing them otherwise it's kind of hard to push them in and get them out but either way we got this one out pretty easily we're going to plug in our led make sure this one's right and this install is pretty well complete and luckily enough we got our polarity correct on all four on the first try there it is well everybody, that was the Dio Dynamics LED side marker lights for the 2017 Camaro SS. If you guys are interested in getting these lights, I will have all their information in the description. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We're going to go wash up the car, get it looking nice again, and get ready for the next event. So keep that hammer down. Mm -hmm.